hello world i'm coming to you live from my kitchen where we are going to be discussing the possibility of wentworth's return okay so as you can see by the title is it real is it a hoax we're going to talk about the whole thing i received a message on instagram and in this message i received some photos in these photos were scripts like i don't know you know what i'm saying scripts for a show called wentworth remembrance and so really quick i'm going to show you the photos and we're going to talk about the titles and whatnot and then we're going to speculate is this fact or is this fiction you know what i'm saying is it a hoax or what so it says wentworth remembrance season one okay episode one titled reborn and it is supposedly been written by pete mctig and directed by kevin what is it carlin which we know is a direct is one of the directors of wentworth or he directed episodes i don't fucking know but he was involved in directing wentworth at some point you know what i'm saying it says that shooting begins march 30th of 2023 and it gives us episode one titled reborn reborn could mean anything it could mean anything let's speculate real quick on what this shit could possibly mean could it be joan ferguson you know what i'm saying she has escaped wentworth correctional after the explosion she is now on the lamb which means she's a fucking fugitive all right of the law and so what she escapes to another land to assume another name you know what i'm saying just like she did with kath maxwell to be reborn as somebody else or could it mean a past character who we all think is dead is really not dead and he's gonna come you know out of the nothing and be like bloop i'm alive i was never dead can you imagine the second coming of b smith who could it be if they were to bring a character back from the dead it would have to be b smith because to not bring her back would be a tragedy but imagine that would be the storyline a dead character was not really dead episode two titled fingers kelly fingers kelly now whether these little photos of these scripts are true or false okay i don't care at this moment i just want to speculate all right fingers kelly makes me feel like this episode is going to be dedicated to my precious baby love luke kelly we get to see maybe like luke kelly's life as a child and the events that took place that made her the way that she is now okay that would be fantastic because i would love to find out what the 338 means like what happened at that time tell me how you got stabbed okay all of it so it would be great to see luke kelly's backstory or maybe it could be luke kelly present day and what she's become after the explosion in season nine you know what i'm saying fingers kelly it could mean that she's lost her shit and she's been out and about in the prison cutting fingers off because that's what she does she cuts off the fingers episode three titled vigor and protect this one here could mean anything anything could be happening in this episode it could be about vera and joan and maybe joan sees that vera's in danger and she tries to protect her it could be the women are in turmoil and mr jackson wants to help save them you know what i'm saying anything could be happening in this episode and i do not wish to speculate on it any further and episode four titled meg my 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 well, this one right here is the one that intrigued me the most out of all the episode titles. So, Meg, what in the fuck? Maybe there's more to Meg than we all know. We only got to see that little bit of her. She was killed, you know what I'm saying? We know this. But what if there's more to Meg than meets the eye? Maybe Meg has a fucking relative who wants revenge for her death, okay? maybe there was like a long lost daughter <gasps> meg had a long lost daughter or like a sibling or a family member there was someone who was fucking related to meg jackson okay and they have come to seek revenge on frankie doyle the woman who killed her how do they know that frankie is the one that killed her because some way somehow this person is in cahoots with joan ferguson how did this happen well because joan ferguson escaped because Vera let her escape 
and out there in the free world she was like you know what i'm free i'm bored and i want something to do and so frankie doyle why not you know what i'm saying what else am i doing let me try to get her killed she finds one of meg jackson's relatives she tells him bloop frankie doyle killed your fucking sister your mom whatever the fuck your 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 fucking cousin your aunt whatever meg was to this family member and that family member's gonna go and try to kill Frankie. And the reason why they call it Meg is because, you know, the, the episode is, you know, about Meg and honoring Meg and trying to get revenge for her death. Damn it. The question is, is this real or is this a hoax? Okay? Is somebody out there trying to pull the leg of Wentworth fans worldwide? I don't know. I don't want to judge, but I feel like this might be a hoax. I don't know how true this is. I'm not saying that this is fact. I'm not saying that this is a hoax. I'm just saying that I don't know, okay? So Craig also sent me a photo of this and apparently someone posted these photos to Reddit, right? Supposedly it's a janitor who works at Fremantle, okay? And he was doing his janitorial duties, okay, of cleaning the building when he came across these scripts that were left on a table. So he risked his job and took a photograph of it. And so I was like, I don't know. It sounds a little suspect if you ask me. I don't think this is real. But in either event, I wanted to share it with you guys because just in case that it is. So what are the chances? Wentworth Remembrance? It says it begins shooting in March 30th of 2023. Why so far away? You know what I'm saying? If the scripts are already written, why in the fuck is it going to take so long to do the filming? Judging by the episode titles alone, I don't think it's real. Because the episode titles, you know, they're not like episode titles of the past you know what i'm saying i just think this is some type of a hoax i don't think that there is a janitor out there working for Fremantle that would have risked his job because then what do they do via the process of elimination you know what i'm saying they could figure out the people of Fremantle could who this janitor is right or video cameras where did they have these scripts why would they have scripts of a show that it hasn't even been like broadcast all right it hasn't been said that Wentworth is back for sure there have been no press releases no news conferences okay none of that has happened which means that this is not a known thing so because it's not out there why would the writers just leave these scripts lying around for any wayward janitor to come and take a photo of okay I feel like this is a hoax what do you guys think do you think that this is true do you think that there's any facts to this uh, I don't know, but let's just speculate for a second, okay? Wentworth Remembrance. So me and Craig were going back and forth, and he was saying that it would be cool if they would come back with, like, a, a Wentworth prequel, right? And I was like, ooh, that would be cool. I don't know. The bottom line is, I don't think this is real, and I'm saddened by it because I dream of the day. I dream about waking up and finding out that Wentworth is coming back <laughs> in some shape, way, or form. And I know that it will. I know that it will. I could feel it inside of me, okay? I can feel it. And so when that day comes, you better believe that I'm going to make a video and I'm going to tell you guys all about it. I thought this was interesting only because of the backstory. I'm a janitor that works at Fremantle. You know what I'm saying? And I, I went rogue and I took these photos. I'm going to need for you to kiss my ass, sir, because I don't think that you would have risked your job. The process of elimination, video cameras, you're going to be caught. You're going to be seen. What happened? Did they leave the scripts in a blind spot? You know what I'm saying? Are there no video cameras in the writing zoo? I don't know. I just don't know. Who's this writer? I'm gonna Google to see this Pete McTigg to see if he's an actual writer for television scripts in Australia and I will put my findings here. As a fan of Wentworth, I should be fucking ashamed of myself for not knowing that this man was one of the original writers of, of Wentworth. I had no idea. So cut me some slack. I already feel terrible. I don't know how I'm going to look at myself in the mirror. <laughs> but this Kevin Carlin, or whatever the fuck his last name is, he's definitely a director. I will put my findings here as well so you can see I'm not making it up. And that's it. So I want to give a shout out to... Uh, what, who, oh God, Jojo. Jojo is the one who sent me these photos. So Jojo, thank you very much 
for sending me these photos and getting me speculating all early in the morning on a Wednesday. Wait, wait, today's Thursday. It's Thursday. I don't know what day it is because my brain is a little scrambled from all the flying and being in such high altitudes. If, if more photos are posted about Wentworth coming back and there's no fact to it, I'm not gonna be making videos about it. I just wanted to make this little video here because I thought it was interesting. I was like, yo, so I feel, this is what I think happened. This is, this is what I think happened. I think that somebody made this up. I think somebody typed these things out and put on a glove to make it seem like they were a janitor, you know what I'm saying? And they took these photos and then they posted them to Reddit. So now the fans are speculating, is it true, is it not, is it real, is it a hoax? You know what I'm saying? What's going on? And the person who made the photos is like, look at the stir that I've caused, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Which is fine, if that's how you get your kicks, then fine, you're not hurting anyone. You're definitely not hurting me, but it's, kind of sucky because it's not true imagine it is though imagine it's true and like a couple of weeks from now there's like breaking news Wentworth is coming back with a spin-off show titled Wentworth Remembrance and I'm gonna be like oh shit then I'm gonna have to come on here and make like an apology video for saying that this was false when it was actually true even though deep down in my gut I feel like it is false Oh my god, world, it is 5.32 in the fucking morning, okay? It's Friday, July 1st, and this video was all done. But alas, the truth has come out, and so I must share it with you. So I received a message this morning, and that's why I'm awake at the crack of ass, because I was awoken with the truth. So Craig, he has a Twitter account, right? He tweeted... Pete McTig, this writer who was said to have been the writer of these new episodes, right? And he asked him, is there truth to these rumors? And Pete responded, you know, that it's absolutely false. I shall put the picture that Craig sent me right here. See, it's fake. This is fucking fake news, okay? My suspicions were correct. You all's suspicions were probably correct because I'm sure you guys thought that this was bullshit as well. You know, and then Pete is here just saying how he thinks that the episode title sucked. Meanwhile, in my video, I was struggling to find a politically correct way to say that they fucking sucked ass. <laughs> and he just comes out and said it. So I don't feel bad now about, about, you know, what I said. So if you look, even Katrina, the actress who plays Boomer, responded. So I just have one thing to say to whoever it was who made these photos. Cut the shit the fuck out, okay? There is no need to do this type of thing. And what are you gaining from it? Absolutely nothing. But thanks for giving me some material so that I can make this video today, okay? I very much appreciate it. So yeah, world, I'm gonna be coming back next week with another Wentworth versus video. It's gonna be Wentworth versus Locked Up. Locked Up is the show where I took some characters from to use in my fan fiction. The youth offenders all came from Locked Up. So in this upcoming Wentworth versus video, you're going to get to meet these bitches and their real characters on that show. So I hope you're looking forward to it because it's gonna be a good one. Locked Up was a good show and I know that a lot of you haven't seen it. So you're gonna get to know about the show and decide whether you're gonna see it or not. All right, world, the end is here and I just wanna bid you all farewell. So if you like this video, you already know what to do. Like my shit, and shout out subscribe to, to my channel. Okay, from and if you do subscribe, the ring with a notification bell so you can be alerted when I post videos in the future. By the way, the reckoning, the season two, I'm still writing it. Listen, now, now I understand why it ain't taking shows a year to come out with their next season. Because it takes time, especially if you want to do it right. Alright, so that's it, world. That's it. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.